Hey guys, Leslie here, and today I want to talk to you about the world's number one nutrient deficiency and how it relates to hair loss. So can you guess what it is? I know a lot of you are thinking magnesium, right? And of course, we do know that 75% of the American population is deficient in magnesium, so it's a very important mineral that we need. But no, you would be wrong. In fact, the number one nutrient deficiency in the world is actually iron. In fact, according to the World Health Organization, 2 billion people on the planet suffer from low iron. And for many years, doctors have thought that there might be a connection between low iron and hair loss, but they could never prove it. So studies were conducted and they took groups of men and groups of women together and they measured their iron levels using uh, a measurement of ferritin. Ferritin are the boxes that you store iron in, we can call it that. Um, and they noticed that there was no conclusive evidence that low ferritin or iron stores were indicators of hair loss. However, other individuals looking at this noticed that while this did not hold true for men, it did hold true for women and said, wait a second, those studies, you say they're inconclusive, but in fact, we can conclusively say that there is a link between low ferritin and hair loss in women. So you really need to be doing something about it. As a matter of fact, this group out of Spain did a study and said, why don't we just try and train GPs? If we train GPs to, uh, to run these ferritin tests, when women come in complaining of hair loss, let's see what happens. And as a matter of fact, when they did this, they noticed that not only did they show that 26% of all those women who came in complaining of hair loss had very low iron, 6% of them were actually anemic. And anemia is a very serious condition that you need to reverse. Sometimes doctors will give you intravenous iron because it is such uh, it is such a, an emergency for the body. So this was, this was completely interesting. Again, a kind of example of gender bias where, oh, right, it works in women, but it doesn't in men, so let's throw the whole thing out. Because of course, we do know that for years, studies have been conducted just on men and that the results have, been, uh, have basically been carried over to women and we have been treated exactly the same way as men, even though we are clearly very different. So uh, how does this relate to you? And how does it relate to what we're all going through right now globally? Well, we all know that through the pandemic, we have heard of friends and relatives who have suffered from hair loss. And one of the interesting things is that these viral infections, although they do not need iron to exist in the body, they do so much better if there is iron. And what has happened, you may have had friends who have said, yeah, I had, I had the thing and I, I lost all my hair or I lost lots of hair. Now it will grow back, but what is actually happening is that the virus is stripping out the iron in your body. And if you don't have enough iron, well, guess what? you're gonna lose your hair. So this is, um, is an interesting conclusion and I just wanted to share it with you because obviously a lot of people are suffering with hair loss from the thing that shall not be named. And if you are one of those people, please do go to your doctor. If you are a woman, go to your doctor, ask to have your ferritin levels checked. And if they are low, then, you know, have these topped up and see if that doesn't help with your, uh, with your hair regrowing. I hope this video has been of help to you. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will try to answer them. I'll do the first seven days of questions after this video is posted. And I look forward to seeing you next time. If you like these videos, as ever, please, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.